I got Job Simulator Platinum and it was one of the easiest and most fun Platinums I've ever got. We started the game in a lobby where unfortunately, I was having controller problems. Every time I wanted to press R1, it wouldn't work. Yes, okay, so here's the controller. I press it, boom. You see my thumb? There it goes down. Guess what? I can't. So, I had to do a good old YouTube search to hopefully find the answer. I came across a video that said I need to put a small rod object in this tiny hole that's on the controller. Pause. I then did that, and then this happened. All right. Turn it on now. That connected. Bridget, wait. Yes! Okay, there. It's working. Oh my gosh. It's finally working. It actually is working. Okay. This is a moment in history, everybody. This never was working. Yeah, I can play now. Oh! Oh, yes. We're happy. I was finally able to play the game. You have no idea how annoying that was. This controller issue actually soft locked me from multiple games, so I was so happy you finally fixed itself. Now, Job Simulator only has 12 trophies, these being to beat all four of the jobs and get eight miscellaneous trophies. The first job I went into was Office Worker. This is when I started harassing JobBot with staples. Look at this board for instructions. Okay. After, I took my work card and a bunch of donuts appeared. Workers would traditionally start their day with an addictive liquid stimulant. I ate them like a good worker should, and to get them down, I drank some coffee. Good cup of joe. <sighs> Taking the next card, we had to boot up the computer. It took me a second to realize I needed to plug in both the monitor and the computer before I could actually use it. And safety being a close second and third. Okay. Alright, plug that in. Now power it up. Ah, one, oh, monitor. There we go. Once they were on, I had to log into my email. Email, okay. Email was an inefficient form Oh my gosh. This is when a flood of emails came in. I just deleted it because who's reading all that? I then remembered I had to get platinum, so I had to look up what trophies I needed to get. The first trophy I got was Know Your Maker, which wants you to read through the credits. I didn't do much reading, but I was pretty thankful Thank you, 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 thank you for the game, 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 thank you for the game for it, thank you, 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 stop. Really, stop it. That's it. Know your marker. Read through the credits. There we go, we did it. That's the first trophy down. After, I had to act busy, so I made this amazing digital art. Isn't that nice? BossBot came over and asked me who is the best hire from the resume list. I took a very, very good and hard look, and I hired who I thought was very good. Okay, we've got Bandit Bot. Yells being sketchy, cooking books, <laughs> cooking books, acquiring cheese, driving cars, nerd bot, hipster bot, experience, founder, font, snob club, brewer, I mean he's whatever, safari bot, skills, leadership, navigation, pretty good moustache, and it is pretty good, and human watch. It's not watching me right now, so that's okay. Alright, these two. Here we go. Higher. And I forgot I had my artwork still on the computer, so I printed it out so it would not get lost. I then did a lot more things for this amazing company until BossBot brought me a shredder. I don't really want to get into it. Here, no. oh. just look in the case. Shred everything. Just get rid of it. You, you want me to shred money? This is when I realized BossBot and the company were doing illegal activities. But this is also when I can get my next trophy called You Monster. So what I had to do was throw this little toy, this job bot toy, in the shredder. The title is very fitting. No play makes job bot happy. Yeah, job bot's happy! You Monster. Shred the job bot toy in the office worker job. All right, that's all the ones for that. I just need to beat it and we'll be done. Working some more hours, some fellow co-workers came over and gave me some cake with candles. I blew them out and they took all the pieces. So Thank you guys. I did get a present though. It promoted me to senior mid-boss's aid. You a present. What did you get for me? 
It better be money. It's oh, just senior mid boss. Hey, that sounds pretty pretty high. Since I was promoted, I was able to send everyone home, finishing the office job and giving me the cubicle cowboy trophy. Baby, put that next to that one. I'll put that behind there. <gasps> Work hard now. Go home. Yes, cubicle cowboy, we did it. Finish the office worker job. Going back to the lobby, I chose the next job of choice being gourmet chef. The first thing I did was drink because who else wouldn't start the job off by drinking? Grape juice, don't mind if I do. Checking what trophy I need to get for this job, I saw I needed to make soup with soup in it. I grabbed all the delicious ingredients needed to make tasty soup. Seasoning, tomatoes, mushrooms, and cheese. Yum. After I switched the grill to the pot, where at first I was adding water, then I had the best idea to add wine. A little bit tipsy. Makes it taste even better. Once they were all in, the soup started to form. Oh, here we go. And out came a tasty cheese, tomato, and mushroom soup, which actually doesn't sound too bad. For the trophy though, we need to make soup with soup in it. I didn't get the trophy at first, so I only put soup in with the wine and nothing happened. In there, put the soup back in there, put a little bit of that, whatever this is, chili powder, put that in there, and we let it cook. And then we get nothing. So I thought I had to get the trophy later. Grabbing my first order, I made some bacon and eggs for a customer. Pretty easy stuff for a chef like me. And wait, 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 wait. There we go. Now put that the looks yummy. The and you can ring the bell to Later, I got an order to make some soup. This is when I thought I could get the trophy, which it was. I could have gotten it when I tried it before, but I didn't realize I had to make two cans of soup and put them in the same bowl. If I need two soups, then I put that in there. I don't know. We'll see. Get this and there. Get it, 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 get it. Oh, sorry. And then nothing happened. Oh wait. Oh, there we go. Soupception. Make soup with soup in it. I just had to have two soups. I then served that to the person who ordered some soup, and hopefully he liked it. The next order I had to make was a sandwich. This is when the most soul-destroying thing happened. Get bread. Bunch of bread. Here, I have a book. It's actually a pizza book, so it would taste good. Never mind. Get in there! Oh no! I poked my wine! Without wine, you're nothing. But then I found out there's unlimited wine to my left, so I was happy again. I also looked in the back and I saw there's a huge fish tank, so I thought they needed some food too. They shredded that up. Skipping to the end of the job, I was on a TV show where I met Chef Bot Ram's Head. Nice to meet you, human. I'm Chef Bot Ramshead. Let's get this ball rolling, shall we? He wanted me to cook some meatballs, where he didn't like them at all. And put it back in there. Oh, those look so bad. My neural network associates them with literal garbage. So are you going to serve them, or just let them sit there and get even more disgusting? Sorry. Sorry. So, he said he wanted to see what I got, so I had to make something on my own. This is when I made my sp special half-eaten face-down cooked pomegranate. Mwah, lovely. I then served that to a random customer, beating the gourmet chef job and getting the culinary completionist. You worthless chemical-based meat bag. Get to cooking, make something good, show us what you can do, anything. Well, what you wanna do is take a bite out of this pomegranate, place it face down on the grill. Right, now once it's done. So overdone, it could be a meme. You about finished yet? Hurry up, serve it. That's what I just did. You watch your tongue with you. You, you, you watch who you're talking to. Oh, we did it. Culinary com completionist. Finish the gourmet chef job. Nice. Only having two jobs left, I went into the store clerk job. <laughs> the first thing I did was look for what trophy I needed to get. The trophy wanted me to scratch off a winning lottery ticket. Perfect, since I love gambling. So that's easy, there's a lot of tickets right here. So I grabbed the ticket and grabbed the coin and got to scratching. It took me 12 tickets until I got a winning one, giving me the trophy. Which, are we gonna be a winner first try? 
And obviously, I keep dropping the coins. Alright. Uh, no. Smuggle books. No. Fortune. No. Build a lot. No. Jackpot. No. This one. No. This one. No. No. This one. 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 Yes! Woo! Lucky winner. Crash off a winning lottery ticket. I have played Job Simulator on my channel before. So if you want to watch that, it will be on the top right. I'm just going to skip to the part I left off on. The next customer that came in was very rich. Mm, hello, human. Looks like I've got some money to blow. What's good here? Give me... Stop. Whatever's good. Glasses are very nice. He just wanted to spend his money because... Why not? So I gave him three pairs of sunglasses, totaling $53.97. More glasses. You up for fifty-three dollars for three pairs of glasses? Crazy. Which I don't know why those were so expensive, but it helped him. He wanted to spend money. Another customer came in asking if he could get anything for free. I just gave him a popsicle because they were expiring in like only a couple of days, so it wouldn't matter. I don't have any money. Is there anything in there I could have for free? Hmm. How about those popsicles in the freezer? If we don't sell those by tomorrow, we're going to have to throw them out anyway. Here, half-eaten uh, oh. He then also asked for a coin, which after I gave him the coin, he just circled around the store and came back and asked what he can get for a coin. Change, too? Here, here. Wow, thanks. You're a real good person. How's it going now? Bye! Oh, dude. Just went in a circle. Hello there, human. Look at this. I've got a coin here for you. <laughs> what could I buy for this? Bro is a real cheapskate. I just gave him a chocolate bar so he could just get out of here. Just give this bot something. Preferably not some pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> right after he left, I was held at Banana Point, where I had to give him all the cheddar in the safe. Right. Wait. Oh no. Here comes <gasps> trouble. Yeah. See, today's not your lucky day, pal. Open that safe and give me all your cheddar. I but yes, cheddar, cheddar, cheddar. Here. Yeah, more of that sweet, sweet. I'm gonna buy a new pair of shoes. There you go. Later, chump. You'll never catch me. I won't, but they will. They were right. They were right next to him. Jawbot then came around the corner and gave me this weird-looking key. Which actually unlocked this secret room for a cleaning bot. Bowl is right there by the dial. See? Oh, no mini game. I then used the joystick to clean 50% of the store, because you know what? It was good enough. Then three kid robots showed up wearing a box to disguise themselves and tried to buy fireworks. Then the weirdest thing happened. The box by Roddy Rich started playing on my phone. It's strange. You should probably check their ID. What the heck? Why did, why did it start playing Roddy Rich on my phone? What the heck? I was like, what is that? <laughs> okay. I didn't even say anything. It just turned on. So I think the game somehow knew there was a box on the screen and it just played the box. I think I might be haunted. Anyways, the kids gave me an ID which didn't work, so they gave me another one. Uh, uh, no, wait, that's the wrong one. Try, try this one. Which that did work. So I charged them for the fireworks. And as soon as I was about to give it to them, their costume fell off and they ran away. Couldn't give them their fireworks. There you go. Oh, Back to jail. The last people who showed up in the store were the police. They brought in three suspects who they thought held me at banana point. The officer then handed me three IDs and said, which one is it? I then gave him the robber's ID and I got the champion of convenience trophy. Here are the three suspects. Just hand me the one who did it. Make sure you're certain. There's this guy. Oh, oh champion of convenience. 
finish the store clerk job. Will you learn? The final job I had to do was the auto mechanic. Before I went in, I heard something from Jobbot that uh, made my head turn. Like the other jobs, I checked what trophy I needed to get. For this job, I need to get a trophy called Give Yourself a Hand. You get this trophy for finding the hidden glove. I looked everywhere for this glove and couldn't find it. I then used my huge, massive brain and thought, oh, a glove. Like a glove box. Oh, wait. And you look at the right side of your car. This is where the glove department is, which would be the secret glove, right? Yep. Ah, uh, give yourself a hand. Drop the hidden glove in the auto mechanic shop. My controller is low. Now the rest of the job was fixing cars. And personally, I'm not a big car guy, so this part of the game wasn't as fun as the rest of it. So I'll just talk about the best parts. The first car was a bot who wanted to use a coupon he got and see what he can get for it. Human, I've got this coupon for a sleazebot special, whatever that is. Says that there's a discount, so hurry up and take care of my car. Now this coupon was a sketchy coupon because the owner is a sketchy guy. The owner is fine establishment. Is that legal? So the coupon was basically to trash his car. Once I was done trashing the car, I charged him two thousand and four dollars. Okay, you're good to go, buddy. And that will cost you. On this new coupon I came up with when you're done messing with that car. There you go. That will cost you two thousand exactly. Hopefully, come on. Never mind. I ripped it down. I feel like I ripped this guy off, but I did give him another coupon, so I think we're even. Later, the robber who held me at Banana Point, he showed up, and he wanted me to change his car because he said he wasn't quote on the run. But I guess I fell for it because I did what he said. I then was handed a paintbrush and a paint canvas and became the best artist in the world for about a minute. If you guys have a name for this art piece, let me know what you'd call it. The robber then came back to the shop, but with a new car. Not the one I gave him before, but a new one. He then asked me to strip it down to nothing. You asked. Let's hurry up and get to work before he comes looking for it. Oh, Wait. Hey, human. This is a special job. We gotta uh, strip this thing down for parts. For, for reasons. Come on, human. Grab everything you can. Hurry up. I think him and the auto mechanic bot are doing some illegal activities. As I was taking out all the parts, the real owner of the car showed up, and I guess the robber tricked this guy into thinking he was a valet, and he took the car, brought it here, made me strip it, and then he said, oh yeah, you can have the car back, and the guy drove away with a broken car. So yeah, this business is very illegal. The last car I had to work on was for a guy who just got married. Congrats to him. He wanted me to add some decorations to the car and then smash a wine bottle on the back of it. Now, of course, before I broke the bottle, I had to get a sip. Looks amazing. Now, for one last tradition, drink a bottle of my family's finest grape juice on the car. Let me get a drink first. Ah! Last, he asked me if I had a gift for him, which I gave him a lemon wheel. For the wedding party now, do you have a gift for us? Uh, <laughs> something in the trunk? Do 
do I have a gift for you, and do I want to throw it in the trunk? I don't know, I gotta put the mic back on, which I think it's actually breaking because of how much it keeps falling. But, yes, I do. I got this lemon wheel. I almost hit it again. Yep, now pay me a thousand. One thousand three hundred and thirty-seven. Ah, oh, finally, Manic Mechanic, we're done. Since I was done with all the job trophies and miscellaneous trophies for those jobs, I had only two trophies left to get, Job Genie and Giving Back. For Job Genie, a scientist bot came by and said they found a new way to job. This was a new cartridge I had to put in one of the jobs, which would give me the trophy. So I put the cartridge at the bottom, put it in the slot, and I got the trophy. The research and development team has created a way to job differently. Stand back, human. Oh, ha, ha, yes. Job mods. What great timing. This should help with museum human retention. Give these job mods a try, human. What you got? Bouncy mode and low gravity. Let's do bouncy mode. Oh. Put that in there. Oh. Get the job from my entry. I always do. Very last one, I guess. Oh, there we go. Job Genie. That was actually pretty easy. I didn't even have to play. Play the. Okay. Then I was on my last trophy. I picked between the four jobs to think which one should I throw at Jobbot. And in the end, I of course had to start with Office Worker. I threw it at him, and that's when I got Platinum. Alright, with the classic Office Worker, golden plated, and we should get the trophy. Thank you, human. Giving yeah, back. Hit job out with any item Remember? in the museum. Platinum Proprietor, blah, blah, blah. I earn every trophy on top of that. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my first Platinum video. I wanted to start off doing an easy Platinum first before I do a harder one. I thought it would be more fitting. So if you guys have any games you'd like to see me get Platinum, let me know in the comments and make sure you subscribe to see when those get uploaded. If you want to see any more videos related to Platinums, make sure to click here. And with all that being said, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.